So for localized, so I think it, the question is acellular mucin, and the other important term there is LAM, low-grade appendiceal mucinous neoplasm. And so I do think it's it's challenging because there is a lot of jargon in this space, and it's and even among experts who deal with this, there is some discussion and discrepancy in what exactly we're talking about. But but what there is widespread uh, agreement on is so a low grade appendiceal mucinous neoplasm is not necessarily a, an aggressive cancer that can spread to your liver and lungs, for example. It is more of a localized process that pushes rather than spreads to lymph nodes or, or to other organs, as I said. And so it's not a traditional quote unquote cancer in that respect, but it, it certainly is dysregulated growth that pushes on things. The acellular mucin part of that is oftentimes when we have a big ball of mucin or mucin is just another phrase for jelly that they don't see the cells that make the jelly. So that that mucin comes from somewhere, but we don't always have the ability to, to tell you exactly where the cells are coming from or, or identify the cells. And so that can be frustrating because we, you, clearly some of these patients have these deposits of mucin or jelly in their abdomen and we can't tell you exactly where the cells are that they're coming from, but they're coming from somewhere. And so the watch and wait approach would be to say these, these sorts of tumors tend to grow very slowly and oftentimes you can have a CT scan, for example, done over a period of three, six, nine months and have little to no growth. And I, I think one of the really important themes of treatment for this kind of tumor is that sometimes doing a surgery is higher risk than just watching it. So surgery is a really big deal, big incisions, removing oftentimes multiple organs, hot chemotherapy, and you have to be very judicious about applying that treatment. And so the watch and wait approach is acknowledging that yes, there is some tumor inside of my abdomen, but watching it for three, six, nine, 12 months or even longer saves someone a big operation and is oftentimes the safer approach. It's, it's I think emotionally unsettling, but, but oftentimes does make the most sense.